What is up, everybody? New episode of Merry Chat. So, as if, as you know by now, <clears throat> two of the biggest announcements that was at BlizzCon this year. Two obvious announcements that we obviously knew were coming. Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2, two of Blizzard's biggest games. I, I cover both of them tremendously on the channel, Diablo and Overwatch. Actually just picked up Overwatch on the Switch. I'm loving it in handheld mode. And um, I actually played Diablo 3 on the Switch also. But um, I play them on PS4. I play them on Xbox. I play them on PC. So it was awesome. You know, especially after the disaster last year. You know, all they talked about was the mobile Di Diablo. They came back with a vengeance this year, and they, they gave the fans what they wanted to hear. Um, they showed, like, a cinematic um, cutscene, like a trailer. Really, really, um, really good. Attention-grabbing, I thought. Um, yep. Blizzard is second to none when it comes to their cutscenes. They can make movies. They're like Pixar. Um, their cutscenes are just phenomenal. And Diablo 4 looks no different. They also did have a demo of it, so I was watching some guys from IGN go in there, and um, they said they had a blast. It's almost like more in the vein of Diablo 2. They're going back to the roots. Looks very promising. I have a feeling that both of these games are far, far out from release. Um, you know, but just knowing that they're being worked on, uh, which really was an obvious thing. I mean, they're the both biggest money makers. Overwatch 2, the biggest thing is story mode. Um, all the characters are going to be coming back, but they're going to have like an overhauled look. Um, they're also going to have like ongoing end game events like Destiny, um, where fans, you know, um, live players will interact and co op with each other, missions. Um,. They showed new cinematic trailers. Uh, all cosmetic unlocks will carry forward to owners of the original Overwatch. That includes skin sprays, victory poses. Um, Wizard did not confirm platforms or a release window for Overwatch 2. But I was reading somewhere where they said it will probably launch alongside with Switch. So that's good. Um, I'm sure there's going to be betas for both of these games. So, yeah, I mean, what are your thoughts? I'm looking forward to them. I absolutely love Overwatch. I'll be honest, I don't know how much money and time I spent on Overwatch. Um, and Christ, Diablo, I mean... Diablo in general, not just three, Diablo as a whole, I've been, I sunk thousands of hours in. Um, I remember the early days of Diablo on, on my old PC, I used to, me and buddies used to, act, we actually used to have clubs where we actually used to meet and play Diablo on the weekends. And then I remember when Diablo first came out on like PlayStation, that was like a big thing. Like Diablo on a home console because it was a PC only game. Um, Diablo 2 on PC. We used to buy the expansions. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to Diablo 2, uh, Diablo 4, Overwatch 2. Uh, I wouldn't hold your breath. Um, as far as consoles, we'll definitely probably be seeing these on the next gen. On the Scarlet and the PS5. Probably come to PC first. But we'll see. We'll follow it through and we'll see what happens here. But I'm looking forward to both games. Definitely be checking them out on the channel. Take care everybody. Until the next episode of Merry Chat. Merry out! Ugh.